have any siblings? I'm the youngest of three. I'm the youngest of three. I'm the youngest of three. She must say it each day, a hundred times each day, to make up for all the years of omissions, to make up for all the years when she said, a sister, I have a sister, Susan. She is two years and two months older than I am. Just the two of you? Yes, just me and my sister. I'm the youngest of three. I'm the youngest of three. I'm the youngest of three. She will turn to the man sitting next to her on the commuter train. She'll will him to ask, then say, Siblings? Yes, I have two siblings. I'm the youngest of three. My brother is the oldest, Robert. Robi in Hungarian. We are Hungarian, Hungarian Jews. My brother's name in Hungarian, we call him Robika. Robika is a diminutive. We use a diminutive because my brother is a child. My brother is an eight-year-old little boy. That's why we call him Robika. My brother is eight forever. Eight. Unless I claim him. My brother is permanently eight lost in the sea of unclaimed siblings. Unless I return to claim him. He's waiting, waiting for me, his sister, his younger sister, to grow up. Sitting on the curb of an empty sidewalk in his tailored overcoat, white knee socks and brown high-top shoes, he's been waiting till I'm old enough to claim him. My 16-year-old daughter received her driver's license last week. She can now go off into the world without me and forget Forget our common beginnings. Forget to remember that I'm her mother. She is now licensed to forget. Today, I forfeit the license to forget my brother. He waits patiently through the four seasons, through sleet and snow, the pouring rain and the scolding rays of the sun Leave no mark on my brother's fair skin. The number of freckles on his face remains constant. His tailored overall shorts are dry. I must hurry, hurry to claim him, hold out my hand and say, come, come, I'll say, come, we must go now. You must not be here tomorrow. Tomorrow, our mother will pack your satchel. Tomorrow, our mother and you will walk to the brick factory at the edge of town. She'll let go of your hand and someone will hoist your body onto the steps of a train. Tomorrow, you'll be sucked into a funnel of forgetting like a dust mite rushing through a drain pipe. Come, I'll say, as he takes my hand and we walk across the bridge of death back into the living world. I'm the youngest of three.